Here's problem seven two. Two kilogram projectile moves from its initial position to a point that is displaced 20 meters horizontally and 15 meters above its initial position. How much work is done by the gravitational force on the projectile? Let's take a look at what's going on here. We have a projectile, mass equal to 2 kilograms, and it's going to be shot in projectile motion to some position, and we realize that that position is a displacement of 20 meters in the x direction and 15 meters in the y direction. So our true vector to that final position is this blue vector, 20 meters in the x direction, 15 meters in the y direction. How we actually got there along this parabolic path is not going to matter as far as the displacement because displacement is your final position minus your initial position. We could describe this displacement in terms of components as as 20i, sorry, plus 15j meters. That is our displacement in terms of vectors. All right, while it's in the air, it's also being acted on by the force of gravity the whole time it's in the air, and that's equal to mg, and that is towards the center of the Earth down. So our force of gravity as a vector is going to be a negative mg j newtons because we're always going in the negative j direction. In terms of magnitude, that's going to be a negative 2 kilograms times 9.8 j. So that would be a negative 19.6 j vector newtons. All right, so there's our force and there's our displacement as vectors. We know that work, which is a scalar, is the dot product between the force and the displacement. So in this case, that's going to be a negative 19.6j dotted with a 20i plus 15j. A j dot with an i is going to be 0. A j dot with a j is going to be 1. So this is going to be a negative 19.6 times 15 times 1, j dot j. So that will give us 19.6 times 15, negative, a negative 294 newton meters or joules. So the work that gravity is doing on the projectile is a negative 294 joules. It's only working really on the y portion of the displacement, not the x, and that's why the dot product only involved the y. It's negative because the object is working against gravity in order to achieve that height, so gravity is doing negative work as it's going up into the air. <laughs>